Is there any particular reason why you're supporting Trump? And are you potentially excited to be voting for Oz or Mastriano as well? We live in Ohio. We, oh. we drove an hour and a half to get here. We love Trump. I can't believe the idiot we have in office right now. I'm tired of paying that price for gas. <laughs> um, Trump tells it like it is, and he tells it like we feel it is. And he says what needs to be said and does what needs to be done. He's a true person. What, what has Trump done uh, throughout, the, throughout the four years that uh, really makes you think that Republicans could do better. Our economy was booming when he was in office. It's going down the drain now and it's going to get worse. I shudder to think if a Democrat gets in here. Do you see like what do you think the the uh, Republicans are going to do on like you mentioned the economy obviously inflation is very much tied into that. What do you think the Republicans are, or Republicans are going to do to try to solve that problem? Use their brains. Well, <laughs> because obviously the ones that's in office aren't using their brains right now. I agree, because the ones that are in office, I mean, well, don't you know, though, they solved it. They solved yeah, it. The sure Inflation Reduction Act, yeah, right? Right, right, right. Solved. Sure, yeah. Well, no, but the, the issue is, though, is that I haven't heard a real plan from Republicans either, though, which is tricky. First of all, get rid of that stupid vaccine mandate, the mask mandate. It didn't do a bit of good. I don't think that's helping inflation right now. Though. Right, no. but. And but there is, an, is there a mask mandate in any state at this point? Uh, there's still some. Uh, and then. Start drilling again, start using our own oil instead of buying oil from Russia. That's asinine. I don't think anyone's buying oil from Russia except for like India at this point. But they're still getting it from other countries. They're still getting it from yeah. overseas. And we got plenty use of our own. Why can't we use our own? A tricky, I, so I actually, I, I, to, especially while prices are high to a degree, like we definitely need to be producing our, our, our own oil while gas prices are high. However, like a good reason why gas prices are high right now too are because the oil companies are like taking advantage of the fact that they're high. They're making record profits right now. Uh, and we're actually like the American oil companies in a lot of cases are exporting a lot of their oil. So like, I just, uh, it's like, yes, I think, you know, to, to a degree in the long term, I'm, and you might disagree with this. I think we need to transition to more uh, green energy sources and whatnot, I'm but- I'm driving an electric car. That's okay. That's yeah. never I'm gonna, not gonna happen. Hey, I'm not gonna force <laughs> you to, okay. <laughs> yeah. Never gonna happen. But, but uh, like, Sure, we can drill more in America, but we're just gonna like sell it. Like the the oil and gas companies are not like America. For, they're not America first. Yeah, but they're they, they're money first. But they <laughs> could still put some kind of uh, tax on it, uh, take it out of the United States, and ship it out of the country. The government can do that. I you know what I think so to, uh, a, a tax on exports of uh, like to make it so that. I'd, I'd be I'd be okay with that. Again, I think in the long term, though, like drilling more oil and gas in the long term probably doesn't make sense when there is a finite amount of it, and at, it's clearly like causing problems uh, in in the long term. It's it's going to be causing, and it is causing problems now with climate change and whatnot. But to to yeah, I, I don't know. I, I we'll agree to disagree on some of that. But that's, well, but that's in our okay. area, the gas and oil was booming with the drilling. They were fracking, they, it was wonderful. There was so many people, everybody was working, everybody, the economy was just booming. And now it just like everything's dried up again. Why, so are, is it because the fracking companies, did they are they forced to close? Yes, they, they're not allowed to. They're not allowed to be drilling and doing the stuff that they- uh, Existing doing. ones. Right, right. Okay. So it, it's sad and Trump needs to get back in. That's our only hope is if he gets back in office. Yeah. But we gotta get all the Republicans in office first so that they can back him. But uh, just to circle back to the beginning of this one more time, I still don't think I've heard like a, how will Republicans fix inflation? I just. By putting people back to work, by opening up the. I mean, people are, the unemployment is well, 3%. How about if we quit bringing the Mexicans in here? Or the, yeah. yeah, bring the close Mexicans the in here and close the border yeah, back up. Close the border They're going to take all of our jobs. But uh, again, unemployment is like really low right now. That's because the other ones are all laying around doped up and not even trying to find a job anymore. Their unemployment's ran out. We have rental property, believe me. Yeah. I see it all the time. They're not even looking for jobs There's, So like uh, during COVID under President Trump, actually, the Republican bill gave the $600 unemployment boost. That ran out a long time ago. People are not making a lot of money on unemployment today. So if they're just like, I, I, d there's no one just like mooching off of government, like with living there on unemployment. Unemployment is not going to give you what it did during the, the pandemic. I'll, during the pandemic, I was a bartender, right? Uh, I was bartending my job. I was a bartender and a substitute teacher when that happened. Oh, wow. I was fucked, to be honest right. with you. I, all my income went away. I applied for unemployment and they told me they were going to give me $159 a week. By no fault of my own, both of my jobs were gone. $159 a week, I couldn't even pay rent. So the $600 boost made a big difference for me, right? 
But as soon as everything opened back up, me and everybody else that I worked with went back to work. Was there a small lag in time where there might have been some people taking advantage of it? Yes, but like those benefits aren't there anymore. But the welfare still is. Right, but welfare has existed for decades. Right, but now so this is not a there's like more and more people. Well, it, it, welfare existed under Trump. Right, but now it, it's it's all about getting the votes with Biden and the Democrats. They'll do whatever they have to do to get the votes. Bringing all these Mexicans, all these foreigners into the country, giving them all this great stuff. While we've got people, homeless people, under the bridges, no place to live, nothing to eat, and it's ridiculous. Agreed. I will say, so I live in Texas. Um, the immigration, clearly a problem. Oh, yeah. I can tell you that they're definitely not able to vote. <laughs> Yet. They will be. But they're working on they it. They will be. I, I, again, I think there needs to be some sort of path that's that we need to have a path to citizenship for people who want to come here at, at some exactly. point. That's how we all got here. Agreed. But like right now, again, even like Trump, that was his big issue. We're going to build the wall, blah, blah, blah. It, he had his, that was like his, probably his biggest campaign promise was build the wall. The first two years in office, he had a Republican Senate and a Republican House. Didn't pass a single piece of immigration legislation. That's the sort of thing that I, like, again, I, I'm not a Trump fan. I'm not a Biden fan either. I think they're both ridiculous, but I'm, I, I, res, I respect folk, you know what I mean? But the thing is, is like, that was his biggest promise and he had the votes to do it in the house and the senate and he couldn't pull it off like does is that something that like concerns you or are you just like that's not how, how do you how do you square that circle basically i think that people have learned from their past mistakes about not supporting trump and see where it got this country now they need to support trump and let him do what he knows to do that guy has made his businesses so profitable and show that he's got a business sense about him. Biden can't even put a whole sentence together. So, just my feelings. I can't stand Biden, love Trump, and anybody he supports will be behind him. I just wish I could vote in Pennsylvania, but we came up here to see Trump. <laughs> Final question, I'll let you get in line if that's okay. Uh, does any of the stuff that he said after he lost in 2020, like, rub you the wrong way? Does it bother you? The, the election fraud stuff? Or, or do you think it's... Fraud was wrong. He, I agree with him. And uh, just uh, we are with just a disclaimer uh, for YouTube. I have to. Uh, Joe Biden won the 2020 election. YouTube, please don't take this off. But we're gonna let people speak and say what they would like because we believe in letting people speak and say what they would like to. So I, I guess what is your take on that? Uh, and, and did it bother you or not bother you? I was a presiding judge at my precinct, dur not during this election, but in previous elections, like when Obama ran. They had people stationed at our polls to make sure that every vote was on the up and up. It's your votes into the election board, and by 11 o'clock, they had all the, the votes counted. How do you get all those votes dumped at three o'clock, two and three o'clock in the morning? I don't buy it. With you being on the inside of the election process and seeing how it's supposed to be run, that wasn't done right. So that's my take on it. Biden stole the election. Trump should have won, and I hope. To God, and next time he runs, he wins again. Legally. Gotcha. All right. You guys have a good night. <laughs>